Listen, Ben. Well, what's on your mind? You wouldn't happen to know how to make sushi, would you? Well, as you guessed, I, I don't know how. And go figure, because I've been to Japan a couple of times, but I know nothing beyond traditional cooking. In steak with mashed potatoes, I have eyes for nothing more. And I'm assuming you don't have a book with the recipe for salmon sushi? For sushi? Not as I recall. But if you want, I have a great one for grilled salmon. I could win the Iron Chef with that recipe, especially if the salmon's fresh. Do you know anyone in this area who knows how to make it? If anyone would know about that, it's Professor Simon's cook. I think he's from China, somewhere around there. But today, here's his day off, so I doubt you'll find him around. Well, then there's Archibald, but if I were you, I wouldn't want to meet him. Archibald? Who's that? Some say he's either Bigfoot, a serial killer, a 200-pound gremlin, or a war criminal. People say the darndest things. Satch, the pizza guy from Sicily, says he saw him a short while back. He was coming to deliver some pizzas to me when he heard a noise in the back of his pickup. When he got out, he saw a running shadow and chased it until he lost sight of it. When he returned to the pickup, they'd stolen the pizzas and opened up the engine. He couldn't get the pickup started, so he had to leave it around here somewhere. He's sure it was Archibald, but actually it could have been anybody. Do you know what Archibald looks like? The last thing I heard is he's six foot seven, has a flat head, green skin, and a body full of scars. Do you have any idea how I can find him? <laughs> no, pal. You don't find Archibald. He finds you. You may be asking yourself, why is Ben saying that? Well, because that's what happened to me. Not once, but twice. So, you say you've seen Archibald? No, amigo. I didn't tell you I had seen him, but that I'd been with him. As for seeing him the way I see you now, never. What happened the first time you met Archibald? The first time? Oh yeah, it was Christmas Eve. I picked up my guitar, went out on the balcony, sipped down a mug of beer, and started singing a Christmas carol. I hadn't finished the first bar when I felt a sharp object in my back, as a whispering voice told me. John Lennon sang Christmas carols much better than you, and look where he ended up. Your end may be much more cruel and imaginative. I stopped playing and asked, you're Archibald, aren't you? But there was nobody there. What happened the second time he found you? I was sitting here having a beer when I recognized his voice. I'm going to give you some emergency anesthesia. If you move, I'll leave you dumber than you are now. I felt something hit my head, and I fell to the floor. When I woke up, I saw I'd been blindfolded. Well, actually, I didn't see it, but you get me drift. I said, where am I? Who are you? What do you want from me? I thought my kidnapper was a competing bear scientist, so I yelled, You'll never get me to tell you my theory, no matter how hard you torture me. Uh, but that wasn't the deal. He said his name was Archibald, and that he was a chef. He just invented a tarantula venom salsa, and he wanted to experiment with me to see if the venom was still poisonous after being boiled. Thank goodness it wasn't. But it was quite a laxative. You have no clue about where his house is? Well, no. I've scoured the area many times, but I can't ever seem to find it. I'm starting to suspect he lives in a hole, like a bunny rabbit. Well, let's stop talking about Archibald for now. As you wish, but don't ever call him Archie. He gets mad with rage. It's about Professor Simon. Yes, what about him? Uh, getting back to what I was saying... Yes. You mentioned something about some essences before, didn't you? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I may have told you about them. More than the essences? What I like is your costume. But will you never learn to call my suit by its proper name? 
I have nothing against bears, Ben, but your lecture about them was uh, a little over my head. No, man, don't you worry. We all have our little flaws. Ah, uh, forget it. Get back to your work. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look over there. Wow, I've never seen a completely frozen river before. I'll try not to walk across it just in case the ice breaks. That must be the cabin that Wazowski was talking about. I'll go take a look. It leads up to Wazowski's cabin. I'll just take a quick glance inside. It'd be better to leave the trap door open. Well, so this is what Wazowski's hidden den is like. Let's see what we can find around here. That's used to take the ash out of the heater. Seems to be made of oak or some similar wood. Those look like perfume bottles. Newborn bear essence, pheromones of she bear in heat, Republican bear extract. They appear to be the essences that Wazowski was talking about. A guitar! Too bad I have no idea how to play. I can't imagine good old Wazowski whacking his opponents on the ice. He'd be better as a team mascot, what with that polar bear getup. Sure, I bet I can use it somewhere. It's as good as new. I'll try not to wreck it. The great Wazowski's hockey skates. Old and dingy utensils, but they could be used. Haven't seen a tea kettle like that for years. That must be quite useful if you live in the woods. I don't know. It might be a little heavy. And I'm starting to get tired of hauling junk all over the place. Though, on the other hand, this is one of those pieces of junk that could save my day at some point. Anyway, by lifting a bunch of junk like this, <laughs> I won't need to join a gym. Wow, man. As far as I can see, the fuel gauge is at zero. Well, I'll grab the thing. After all that effort to get it into my pocket. Too bad I have no idea how to play. Man, that's a great idea. If I play the right song, maybe I can get that Archibald guy to show up. The only holdup is that I have no idea how to play, but hey, it can't hurt to try. I'll step outside so I can be heard better. The light from this lamp will come in handy. Here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is it to ride on a one-horse open sleigh? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is it to ride on a one-horse open sleigh? Hey, you! Darn. Wait for me. That's too bad. His nose didn't even bleed. Can you tell me why you just tried to do me bodily harm? Ah, forget it. I don't feel like arguing. You must be Archibald from what I've heard. Well, you must be a moron. And from what I've heard, a worse guitar player than your father. So, how is it you met my father? From hearing him play on that very balcony there. Or isn't your pop that bird brain with the bears? No, I, I believe you're mistaken. Wazowski's not my dad. I'd swear you guys were family. I find it hard to believe backward evolution is widespread among humans. Hey, he doesn't look like... The same ape-like expression on your face, the same lack of musical knowledge and bad taste from the look of your clothing. 
No, there are just too many coincidences. Listen, Archibald, I'm warning you that... All right, then. Let's look at it from a more entertaining perspective. I know a game called Give Me One Reason Why You Shouldn't Die at This Very Moment. You'd like it. The end's supposed to be a killer. I need you to tell me how to make sushi. I don't have to explain anything to you. Did you explain to me about the expired syrup they gave you when you were born? Do you know Professor Simon? The best thing I can say about him is I hardly know him. He doesn't bother me with nonsense, and he doesn't make a bunch of noise with a guitar. The guy is nice and quiet in his mansion. Doesn't bug anyone or show his face. Now that I think about it, I kind of like him. You have to help me. My friend got sick from some wild berries, and you're the only one who can whip up the antidote. You got the wrong idea about me, mister. Even though I'm smarter than most of them, I'm not a doctor. I've heard you're a whiz in the kitchen. Mister, I am much, much more than that. Where'd you learn to cook? By cooking. How else do you think people learn? But of course, I studied at the finest schools in Paris with the greatest chefs. All I can say is, though, they learn more from me than me from them. You must have worked in the finest restaurants, I'm sure. Yes, all the ones they won't let the likes of you into. But I grew tired of half-baked cooks stealing my recipes and using them to get the best reviews in the Guide Michelin. The truth is, looking at you here, it's hard to picture you in a white apron and a chef's hat. Hey kid, I can easily picture you in a shroud lying in your coffin. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying... Good lord, what an annoying person. If I'd known, I would have acted like a sane individual and made you swallow that bleach. Are you ready? My questions are somewhat personal. Well, in that case, we could start playing our old game again. But backward. Every time you open your mouth, you give me another reason to feel sorry for your pathetic self and put an end to your sorry, meaningless existence. Considering the vegetative state of your brain, it would be a true act of euthanasia. 